Are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? He's gone. Hey, but a lot of people was telling me, you know what? Why don't you react to the actual video so that you can see what he was saying before then? That way you'll have a better understanding as to why he left. So that's exactly what I'm about to do. Yeah. I, I think I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I think. Who was they though? We can't say who they is, can we? Press. I'm not using the. I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess. Who is they though? Do you, you guys use? I'm, I'm talking. It is about them it. though, isn't it? I mean, because <laughs> no, and, and because when you think <laughs> about not. it, consider it. In 2018. What do you mean it's not? It, what What do I mean? Like, uh, uh, okay, so how about? Wait for the man to give you an answer. Kanye did not do the right thing. He did not. Wait for the dude to give you an answer before you storm off like a little ass kid. But I'm going I'm to be quiet and let them finish. Are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? He's gone. I'll say it right now. Um, you, guys, I, I, you guys want to bring that stuff up? And then have think the we're discussion. not going to have a like, conversation? Like have the discussion. Like you, you think yeah, he's going to come in here and say... Here's my pain. Here's my suffering. I'm going to say, I hear you. And then he's going to say, and it was Jewish people. And I'm going to be like, okay, but don't you consider it? So I'm not going to do this. I, I refuse. Go, uh, make sure he's cool. All right, go for it. Excuse Luke and I will have a conversation. So uh, I can't say I'm surprised. But All right. So there's more that comes before this. And what he was talking about before this was all the money that's being hosed out, all the people that's been taking money from him, all the millions and millions of dollars that's been um, been removed from his um, bank account or being frozen and how the IRS are coming for him and, and all of those things. All right. And what's so beautiful about this time is everyone got to see what's really been happening for all the Kanye fans out there, and I am also a Kanye fan, just want y'all to know that. See, a lot of people think that I am not because I'm just, I just get tired of the BS as a grown man, but I'm listening to this and I'm just gonna shut up and listen, okay? And if I have any questions, I will interject. If I have a statement, I will interject, but for the most part, I'm just gonna listen. And now we can really understand, we can see that Ron Emanuel was right next to Obama, and then Jared Kushner was right next to Trump. Da-da. But so, you, so <laughs> we're, we're we're getting right into it, I guess. Right? I was I was hoping to go for the news first before we got into all of this stuff. Uh, I think I think the issue is uh, one way to put it is you're mm. a, a, expounding upon a localization issue that you've witnessed, right? Let me let me clarify. There are a handful of people that you see are Jewish in a certain place, and then you associate Judaism with the power. As a, whereas I view that as not relevant to it. Like, yeah, you're substantially more powerful than I am, but I don't view what you're doing as an issue of black people. Yeah, but have you ever heard the term "the black vote"? So it's okay to put us in one net, but it's not okay for me to put them in one net. Yeah, but I mean. That's the basis uh, of the hypocrisy that people have been <laughs> have been thinking about and knowing about and realizing for decades. We were all wondering how this dam was going to break. Everybody in the country was wondering what what is the root of this hypocrisy? Is that Milo? <laughs> Milo in there high as hell, bro. <laughs> Milo high. Why can people talk about white people a certain way? Why can't they talk about that group a certain way? And uh, the, the, the most the, the the wretched and wicked and oppressive prevailing orthodoxy of uh, cancel culture. Well, it turned out that the one thing that was going to break the dam was the biggest star in the world, and it took the biggest star in the world to do it. Um, but but Milo is he's definitely dropping facts though. What he's saying is absolutely the truth. Uh, uh, and 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 now the dam is broken. So let me let, let me tell you my issue. I I don't like identitarianism. You guys are familiar with what that is? Well, yeah. they started it and I'm, they've been visiting sure, it on I, us. I, the, the, We're when trying I, to break it. When I was asking you about running for uh, president, you, you you immediately said, "Well, you know, you'd be good for the black vote." And I said, "Is that because I'm black?" No, not just because of that. So is that. Are you doing the same thing? I didn't say that was the only reason. I said it was because you're personable to the common person and you probably would do well with the black vote. Absolutely. Just because I, I'm black is a lot of black people that don't like me. Uh, of, of course. I think uh, I think race plays a role in a lot of things. Absolutely. And I think that for I, I think I think the I the construct of race has really been forced upon us as just something for us to be woke about and just constantly talk about and use it as these like walls. Couldn't you but, say, say the same thing about Judaism? 
Well, let's look at the facts of what I'm saying, though. If you say in this neighborhood where they gerrymander this this amount of time. So, hey, I wasn't doing that. I was just gerrymandering the lawyers and the Hollywood executives <laughs> and the people at the bank that debanked me and then froze my accounts. You know, it's like we want to jump into protecting the idea that we can't put a net around something. Right. But that's been my job as a producer to take, uh, you know, a Roy Ayer sample and put a James Brown drum and put it within a two, two minute, three minute song. That's the way I actually think. And that's the way I talk. And now this morning I found out that they were trying to put me in prison because what they did was uh, I, put, I moved $140 million into JP Morgan. And I said, hey, I want to talk to Jamie Dimon. Like, look at me. I'm just going in naive you know, multi-billionaire, like may, maybe Jamie Dimon will let me in on some deal flow. Wrong. And I'm just like <laughs> banging my hands like, I want to meet with Jamie. And I start complaining online and then they debank me for complaining. And so I'm, I'm about to get debanked. They're like, you need to go to Trump's the bank, AXO, whatever, you got to go. And I'm like, I've been trying to buy my own bank for the longest. And then we figured out how to get my own bank. It's like 50 million, 75 million. So I'm about to buy my own bank. But then. Shout out to Ye for about to buy his own bank. That's big. That's big. Get your own bank, bro. I think that's, I think that's huge. That's phenomenal. Get your own daggone bank. As you're about to take the money out. Here comes Adidas with a $275 million bill for marketing funds that they agreed upon. Because I said to them, hey, I'm the marketing, give me the marketing fund, which proves by the response they got when they you know, stole the designs and said, we're going to not call them Yeezys anymore. So this is what I was already fighting Adidas for. So I'm fighting Gap, get out of Gap, fighting Adidas. And then I deal with this little bit of noise from, you know, Zionism from the fashion world where they use this plant named Gabby, who's obviously like some kind of CIA agent, knows nothing about fashion. This is a certain thing. When someone can't dress, you know that they're not like a fashion person. <laughs> they're just there as like the society, like the control that they try to use with celebrities, which has now been broken, right? Because you know where it broke? I know I'm, I, okay, I want to get on like LeBron in a second. But I'm going to come back to this and just talk about this morning where, uh, you know, I'm not going to mention her name because she's a nice lady. But someone at Cohen Resnick tells me and I tell my all of my finance people never use the term a lot. But they said, OK, you're going to have to pay a lot of taxes. And that made me feel like they're just like waiting, like we finally got them. We finally can put him in jail. And I was like, can I still run for president in jail? I found out I could. So I was like, okay, yeah. that's, that's fine then. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be okay. But, 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 but if, you were, if you were Jeffrey Epstein, they wouldn't touch your bank account. They would allow you to break the rules, regulations, just like JP Morgan and Chase did, just like Deutsche Bank did. So there is an issue to bring up with that. But when it comes to the race stuff, I think this is an important discussion to have because what, what, I, I think- I have, to, I have to complete this thought. You guys got to- Okay, go ahead, go ahead. All right, because I'm talking about literally finding out that they were trying to put me in prison this morning. Why this so my man said i gotta complete my thought so don't interject i wasn't finished I, I i ended with a joke that was a pause and i need to get back to what i'm saying all right this morning yes so i'm not you know not come to my house this morning but i found out okay so they froze they put a 75 million dollar hold on four of my accounts and then they said you owe a lot of taxes took me like six hours to find out how much a lot was they said <laughs> well around 50 million dollars now i'm going to different cfos like okay so would this be tax evasion because i'm obviously not the most financially literate person on the planet i was just a child basically like when you become famous you you stop growing at that point i became famous at age 24 and i had handlers around i had my mom around different things and it was always like you go from one handler to the next handler to the next handler so now i'm having i i, I get to actually learn how to run a company i get to learn how to to count Really, I had, I was like Pablo in a movie. It was like, I didn't even know where to put the money, like literally making <laughs> $300 million cash, but you're just like a high priced, you know, we're not going to use the S word just because it's just like too passe to use it, but it's like next, you know, 
next year I was supposed to make five hundred million dollars in royalties, and like no one needs this amount of money. That's a lot of daggone money. That's uh, man. That is a lot of that's a lot of money right there. But when I would work on homeless shelters and ideas, I'd have a contractor. We won't say what race, um, <laughs> and <laughs> the you know they'd be tearing down the contracts. It's all about you know position. It's not about the amount of money that you have. And you know to come in here, I feel like it's a setup to be like defending. I'm not gonna go through another like I'm literally gonna walk the f off the show if I'm sitting up here having a you know talk about you can't say that it was Jewish people that did it when every sensible person knows that I mean John Stewart knows what happened to me and they took it too far it was like American History X like my head was on the side of the curve and the exact people that I called out kicked my head we found out that my trainer was a MK Ultra uh Canadian uh, intelligence. He, was, uh, yeah. he worked in the defense research and uh, development uh, in the Canadian military, essentially working on psyops in this the guy? Canadian military. This is Harley Pasternak. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is, look, they tried to medicate me. They, I was exhausted. They wrongly diagnosed me. And they, 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 when I asked them, how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly? It took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount, right? And I refused to take this, right? You understand that if I had taken the medication, I would not be here and it would have been, woe is, he was deeply troubled. We miss him. We love his music, though. Well, they would have Britney Spears, too. I mean, look at they, they would have Michael Jackson or, or worse. Yeah. So look, <laughs> guess, I guess what they did. Look at what they did to Britney. When she went in, she was tired. She was exhausted. Yeah. She was in a bad way. But 10 years of that medication wrecked her brain. You can see it now. Yeah. You can see there's not much of her left. You, you mentioned Pasternak was the name. Uh, yeah. Yes. Harley Pasternak. That's the that's the uh, text message that you yes. posted here, that we were talking about. Here, before. Here's, here's that's here's, the lobotomy. Like, right. you know? Yeah. Before the show, obviously, I'm getting a bunch of messages from people. People are hitting me up and they're like, you shouldn't host them. They're anti-Semitic, they're right supremacists, they're racist. I do find the idea, uh, I do find it funny or weird or whatever that, you know, Nick, they call you a white supremacist. You're here working with or for, you know, one of the most powerful black men, one of the wealthiest and most famous. But uh, a lot I have the same question because I'm just now learning about who the Nick guy is. And I'm wondering why is Kanye doing business with him when he know that he's about to consider running for president i really need an answer to that that right there boggles my mind um so if y'all know any answers to that feel free to jump in and help me out with that a lot of people were saying on the right specifically don't platform them mm -hmm. and i said well i want to i want to understand what they're thinking and why they're thinking it they're part of they're involved in what may be the biggest news story of the past week and we have an opportunity to sit down and, and talk because the them. red media controls both sides it just said it as simple as possible jerry kushner was next to trump ron emmanuel was next to obama but see, since it, 1940 go ahead i was gonna say isn't that an issue of these individuals like you, you're you're extrapolating i'm not having i'm going to get i'm going to order with the last of my money that's available in a different account, I'm going to order a PJ before I sit and have another Lex Friedman setup conversation. When when I'm literally trying, they're trying to put me in jail for my opinion. But I, I'm I not. Get that. I'm not going to have that opinion. I don't care about people. The people. Those are bots that are trying to tell you. We realize. Look at Pence. He sold Trump out. You get what I'm saying? It's like I would have never uh, wanted to do anything that hurt. Trump. I'm on I'm on Trump's side. Trump said things that hurt me. He lied about me, but I mean he's known for lying. And when people used to tell me that, you know, he's a liar, it's like, you know, I went into the trenches for Trump. That's another conversation. There was no one in my position that wore that hat. And all of my surroundings exhausted me. It was like death by a thousand questions. I know I'm jumping to another thing. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I know you got a rep for your 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 people online, but it's no, like no, no, you got no. a person in real life that no. I I'm not with it, bro. I lost the I, I lost the money for the freedom of speech. And that's what makes me the only American that we know that really deserves to run the country because everyone else, your boy DeSantis, Trump, whoever <laughs> they 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 raise in a petri dish over on the Democrat side is is going to play the game. Look, look and, like, here's what I was trying to get yeah. to. 
I, 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 you went right into the anti-Semite thing. I think it's something that should be talked about. But if you if you start bringing this up, you're going to ask my opinion on it. I'm going to disagree with you. I didn't I, ask I, your opinion on it. You no, jumped but, but, into it. But I, but you, I don't care about your opinion. I like your opinion on how we win an election. But I don't care about thing. anybody's opinion, bro. I lost. They tried to put me in jail. They blocked two, two billion dollars. I had. Uh, I, I the told, minister. Yeah, <laughs> the minister. Like I told Obama which, met, met with him too. Oh, he was. Yeah, I mean, people allowed uh, Obama to meet with the minister. You know, so uh, Farrakhan said, well, did he have the money? The contract for the next four years, if I hadn't done anything, would have been $500 million a year for four years. What I was fighting for was the IP so my children could, I'm sorry, just sometimes I think about seven thoughts at one time. Because anything I see, I come up with like seven answers to it and then just choose what it is. But, but I, what, the thing is when I said my children, the reason why my, my brain kind of blocked because it's like God is saying, you know, your, your children are going to be okay. The, you know, baby mama's got money, right? God is using me. He's breaking me down, removing all of the, you know, richest person, all of this so I can serve him. And the more and more those things are taken away from me, the more I can be empty and be a vessel and be able to be used. And right now it's like, you're not gonna take, if, if we can't, you're not gonna take my pain away, right? People say, it's the Holocaust, this happened, and you can't say anything about it. We can't take their pain away. No one's gonna denounce the fact that they tried to lock me up. That's what it, cause every time I'm just- This dude is doing a whole bunch of damn complaining and his complaints are valid, but he is not doing God's work. You're literally with a dude who gets excited about making speeches, bro. What am I missing here? God wouldn't do that. What am I missing? People get so wrapped up in the fact that he's this wealthy black dude that they just gravitate toward him and believe whatever the hell he says. I don't get that part. Do not tell me, I listen, when you say that you're doing God's work, but then you're on somebody's, you're in somebody's uh, workspace right now. I'm talking to Tim. Tim, I'm, I'm, I'm in Tim's workspace right now. I'm in Tim's podcast, right? And uh, I'm not even looking at him when I'm talking. He's looking at somebody completely on the opposite side of the daggone table. He ain't even thinking about looking at Tim. He said, I don't want to hear your, I don't want to, I didn't ask you your opinion. I don't care about your opinion. He's there to tell his story. A lot of people so, so busy riding this man <laughs> that they're not looking through the BS. I'm not seeing what y'all are seeing. I'm sorry. Just holding stride. And it's like, I didn't, I thought I was more Malcolm X, but I find out I'm more MLK Here we because go. as I'm getting hosed down every day by the press and financially, I'm just standing there. And when, when I found out that they tried to put me in jail, it was like a dog was biting my arm and I, 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 I almost shed a tear almost, but I still walked in stride through it. Yeah. I, I think, I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I think. Who was they though? We can't Cor say who they is, can press. we? press. I'm not using the, I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use, I'm, I'm talking about. It is about them it. though, isn't it? I mean, because, <laughs> no. and, and because when you think <laughs> about not. it, consider it. In 2018. What do you mean it's not? It, what, what do I mean? Like, uh, uh, okay, so how about, are you leaving? So you mean to tell me I went back and watched the whole thing so I could see that? That didn't lead me up to any answers. I'm still lost i'm lost in the damn sauce bro when it comes to the answers and then i'm looking at everybody meat riding this guy in the con in the in the comment section yay 24 yay it's let him speak he's 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 talking some real stuff he's only telling his own story that's it he's not saying why he will be good for the country he's just saying why he's trying to how he's trying to set up his money so that he can run I got nothing out there. I, I got nothing from that. The guy's a billionaire. Well, was. Lost a great deal of money from a bunch of people who are against him. They're trying to lock him up for having an opinion. Bro, he understands, he understands that in order to get his voice heard, 
he has to put audio and video out on podcasts and, and, and platforms that are already out there. And as he used this, these platforms, he realized that the people involved in these platforms are heavily tied to the people that he's beefing with or that he might have said something offensive about. Has he made some good points? Yeah. If you're going to say that, man, you, you really going to get the black vote, Tim Pool, that was dumb for you to say. I'm just going to say that. That was, that was not the smartest thing to say because you didn't know how to back that up when he called you out on that. Him and Milo made a great point when they talked about that right there. How come you can say you're going to get the black vote, but you can't talk about the others, the people that we cannot mention? So, yeah, they made a great point on that. But we are only 21 minutes in the conversation. We are 21 minutes in the podcast, and this is a two-hour-long podcast. Bro, how in the hell y'all going to vote for this man to be president? And he can't even have a conversation in somebody else's house without storming off because he feel like, you're not listening to me. This is going to be another Lex Friedman type of conversation. And I, had, I didn't have fun on Lex Friedman conversation. I want to have fun this time. That's, that's the reason why people are paying six, seven, eight hundred dollars for them raggedy shirts that he sell. Simply because it got Yeezy on it. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. A lot of y'all support Trump. But you mean to tell me that you cool with this guy sitting in front of Tim Pool and Milo and Nick and talking about everybody know that Trump is known for lying. But I put my, I stuck my neck out there for Trump. Everything is about what Ye did for somebody. Ye did this. Ye did that. Ye did this and Ye did that. But when something bad happens, they did it to me. I didn't do anything. He is not doing God's work. That's not God's work. This was a huge platform right here. You want to do God's work? Do God's work. What did he say in this entire conversation that had anything to do with God? I went back and I checked from the beginning the way that a couple of people wanted me to do, and I saw nothing that changed my mind. Stop riding money. People like to ride money when somebody got some money and somebody got some fame everybody's just like oh i want to i believe in you i want to be a part of what you're doing stop that he said nothing of substance as far as the future he was talking about the past so why are they talking about the, the money that they taking from the money 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 i'm losing all this money they taking all my money they try to kill me they try to do this they try to do that Dude, you are on somebody's platform that if they, are, if they say certain things on that platform and they know it, they can get shut down. But you don't care. He's not a part of your team. He is the host. He is giving you the voice that you claim that you can get. You keep saying, every time I speak up, they trying to shut me down. They trying to arrest me for talking. They trying to do this. They trying to do that. Every single time I try to talk, they say this, that, and other. Okay, you got the floor. Talk. Oh, I'm not saying what you want to say, so you leaving? I thought you wanted to talk. We said that the, I'm sure they already said that. Oh, we're we're going to talk for probably like two hours, maybe three, depending on how, how good this conversation goes. But you decided to give up your voice. You decided to quit you decided to throw in the towel you decided to take your ball and go home that's what you decided to do maybe this was a plan all along i don't know and honestly i don't care acting like he acts he's barely father material acting like he acts he's not husband material he's not friend material come on now what am i missing that's the problem right now man that's why we're in this itch on this situation right now that we're in because everybody want to be with the person that's popular. <sighs> All right, man. Calm down, boy. So I went and watched this, and I feel like I wasted my time watching this because I got nothing out of it. I got nothing out of it. All right. You're still a hundred millionaire. You got great ambitions. You're doing phenomenal things. Clearly, you're doing phenomenal things, Kanye, because you have, um, you have accrued enough money to buy your own bank. You have accrued enough money for everybody to be paying attention to you and wanting to be like you and want to be a part of what you're doing. If you run for president, Kanye, I will not be voting for your ass. I'm not voting for the, for what? 